Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simso Chanel and today we are going to talk about how I use the Sims 4 calendar. Yesterday I made a post on Twitter and in the post I was basically showcasing my calendar and just asking if anyone else fills up their calendar the way I do. A lot of people had some good things to say and some people were mixed on the idea. But I want to explain why my calendar looks the way it does and how it has helped me. Before I jump in and have my sim, let's just have her do something in the background. I do want to go and show you guys the calendar. So this is what my calendar looks like. It's not completely full, but as time goes on, I will be adding more things to it. I also want to showcase why I play my game as 28 days versus it being 21 or it being 14 and so on and so forth. So. The name of this household, I really need to rename it, but let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the calendar and the seasons that are here. Now, a lot of people probably think that I have each of these days set as days off, but actually I do not. So I'm going to explain each of these. But first, before I explain each of these, let me tell you why I use the calendar the way I do. So I have all of the expansion packs and sometimes it's very easy for me to forget that the game, while it has a lot of bugs and while it has a lot of problems, there are a lot of things that you can do with your sim. There are a lot of things in the game that we really don't pay attention to because we're so focused or so accustomed to it being so closed world that we forget all of the little things that make this game unique. And so recently, I started thinking of ways that I could make my game more fun. A lot of us tend to go into the game and do the same old things over and over again. But the calendar helps me to implement everything from every different pack out there, as well as a few custom interactions that really help to spice up my calendar. So let's start off with the first day. The first day here I have is TV season premiere. And usually it's like Housewives of SimCity or something like that. Second day that I have here, Streaktastic, where your sims just go out and streak. This is the one day when they get to streak. If you have mods such as the ones by Sacrificial, there is actually a custom tradition that comes with his mods, which allows you to kill other sims. And you can actually have a day called The Purge, where on that day, you could just go around and kill any sim that you want to kill. Then I have Tiny Tots Day and Tiny Tots Day is a day for the toddlers. So it's a day for them to do things, play things, because most of the traditions aren't really accommodating the toddlers. And so it is nice to see that someone has made traditions that has to do with toddlers. So toddlers now have activities you can make, make them play in the ball pit, so on and so forth. This day here is called Be Appreciative Day. and be appreciative <laughs> but yeah it's all about the bees you get to bond with the bees it's just simple interactions i don't fill up each of the days with a bunch of interactions it's just one interaction because i know sometimes it can be annoying when your sims don't get to do everything that they want to do and then they get a bad moodlet from it the good thing about it is once your sim gets the elated moodlet it is very good because it is a long buff this day right here is called Savvy Collector's Day. And basically you collect a bunch of things. Collect a new insect, collect a new frog, collect a new metal, collect a new crystal, collect a new fossil. Things that you actually do on a daily basis, but being rewarded with a awesome moodlet is just one of the perks of adding this to your calendar. And then we have the summer holiday, summer vacation, which is a school holiday for children. I put the school holidays, um, calendar thing because this one is just for children so adults don't partake in this activity this is something for kids not for adults as well and i also set it so that it is not a a day off from work or school but this overrides the school section so kids actually don't have to go to school then we have the great depart this is actually a vacation day so the parents can actually take a vacation out on the first summer vacation and then spend the rest of the vacation with their children, which is essentially the plan for the family that I have. 
on this day i have baker's delight and baker's delight is basically a day where you do a lot of baking you bake cookies you you bake stuff you, you bake a cake you just bake and that is one thing that i don't do with my sims i don't have them bake sweet treats and cupcakes i have them you know just cook the normal food i don't really just bake cupcakes and have them sitting on my counter but ice mun mun has this little item which i will showcase in the video as well and it really encourages me to just have a little sweet treat on the table on the island of the kitchen so that your, your sims can treat themselves every now and then when they do something good you can reward your sims this day here is called the summer barbecue and basically you can do a barbecue eat pizza eat popcorn eat ice cream chat with someone just have an awesome day outside in the yard and then we have the fit as a fiddle day and this day you just exercise you can go jogging hiking walking whatever it is that you want to do you can do that it's all about being fit then we have national book day where you just basically tell stories you have shopping day which is just a day to remind me that yes i can go to magnolia promenade and buy a new outfit and then we have journal day which is a day when you write in your journal write down all your thoughts how you're feeling your emotions and then we have garden day where you just go out you water a plant you don't have to fill up your cal calendar with a bunch of traditions you can just have a holiday with just one specific tradition then we have join a cult day we also have glass half empty day, which is where you go and you air, air your grievances. And then you have day of fun. Take photos, volunteer, read books, just do things that make you happy. I also have boys night and boys night is where the guys go out to the bar. They drink some drinks, play ping pong, play foosball, play chess, play cards, just do the things that make them happy. And then I have uni events day. Uni events day is basically a day where I can take any teenager that I have in my household out to the world of Brightchester so they can check out both of the universities, both Brightchester and Foxbury and see which ones they want to apply to. So it's kind of like a take a teaser a taster session for checking out the unis i can't remember what this day is called in real life but i know there's a specific day or a specific week or something where you can check out different universities to see which ones you want to apply to and then I have date night and I said this as date night because it is a reminder for my sim to go on a date it was originally her birthday but I aged her up early so now it's just date night and then we have picnic day you go on a picnic you barbecue you you do a little bit of drinking that's all it is and then you have appreciate it day it's the day when you can appreciate something in your life something that you bought that you just really appreciate just appreciate an object then we have first fall harvest this is the day when you harvest your first fall crop this is something that was celebrated in my country so i just decided to go ahead and put it in my calendar and then we have preserves galore this is a day where you can do canning and preservatives you don't have to if you don't want to then we have the queen's jubilee weekend i only put that because we're currently in the queen's jubilee weekend and i just put that because i just felt like it's a day for the adults to just get a break off and then we have honey collection day where you collect honey if you have a bee box so you might want to invest in one we have a dance-a-thon we have fall cleaning and then we have adopt a pet day. The day after that is the big game final. And then down here, we also have remembrance day. So a lot of other things are going to be added to this. Now I'm going to show you just a lot of the little traditions that I have. So I click on add a holiday. It's going to take a little bit to pop up because yeah. All right. So this is Zerbu's more holiday icons i think this is the name of it and basically it gives you a bunch of different icons that you can use just to make your calendar look beautiful and just to relate to the tradition that you are planning to create or the holiday rather that you are planning to create and then here we have the traditions so we have activities for toddlers send your toddlers to the daycare they'll have a lot of fun we'll make new friends and learn new things costs 10 simoleons per hour per sim then you have the activity table adopt a pet air grievances analyze a collectible ask for a massage art exhibition art and music spirit arrange flowers appreciate an object attend holiday ceremony bake a cake bake cookies baking ball pits blow out candles beach comb beach cleanup bath 
barbecue, bond with bees, bountiful harvest, bubble blower, build sand sculpture, build a snow pal, celebrate pride, carve a pumpkin, which a lot of these are duplicates because certain of the traditions that I downloaded, some people had already had them. So it's like duplicated in here. Canning, chat with someone, church, circus, cleaning, coffee, collect a new fossil, collect a new crystal, collect honey, collect beeswax, collect a new frog, collect a new insect, collect a new metal, collect a new microscope print, collect a new postcard, cook vegetarian, cook pancakes, cook healthy, cook fast food, collect a new snow globe, cooking competition, count down to midnight, craft a piece of furniture, create potions, cross stitching, do push-ups. I cannot even go through them, but I'm just going to scroll through them so you can see that there are so many different traditions out there that you can have your Sims do. A lot of people tend to think, oh my God, it would be really annoying if my calendar was that full and I had to do, you don't have to do these things. There are little simple things that you do every day, but I like doing these things because it reminds me, hey, you have all the packs, utilize them. There are little things that your Sims can do, like making a zombie cake or visiting your acquaintances. It reminds you, hey, how about you visit your friends? It also helps with my storytelling when I do these things. This one comes from Sacrificial as well. So there are a lot of mods that actually add traditions, but we don't really realize that they add traditions until we go and we look in the traditions panel and we say oh hey there's a new tradition in here i didn't know what mod comes with this you know i also have the ones where you those ones like purchasing a lottery ticket and stuff that pop up randomly well i have them so i can set a lot a specific lottery day for my sims so these, this is how I use the calendar. I use the calendar as a way to remind me to play the game and just have fun. And also just to have my Sims engage and do a lot of things. It gives them great interactions. It gives them great moodlets. It just makes them overall happy. I pair this up as well with some custom traits that I have in Cass, which I am going to go ahead and show you those custom traits so you guys can get a nice little idea of just how fun it is. But before I go into that, which her mom is playing a game and then her son is just over here learning at the piano, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And the cat is scared of the piano, obviously. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go through these moodlets. So we have around children, nurturing become happy and calm around their children right now she's also feeling she's aching after pains from um, postpartum and wet clothes so she really didn't dry off after she took a shower and then time to make babies from the baby maker trade and then she also has fast internet um, a lot of these moodlets just make your sims really happy and it makes them it makes it a lot easier for you to be able to do certain things with them, build up certain skills when they are happy. If you guys like my house, yes, it's just so cute. I just, I spent so much time decorating this house, but this is not really the focus of it. But first, before, let me just show you guys my backyard because like, oh my God, it's so cute. And this is where they watch the TV because their living room doesn't have a TV and I made it specifically that way. So the living room is just a place where they sit down and converse with each other. And if they want to watch TV, they got to go outside to the back to watch TV. It's a great way to keep your guests at bay. So you guys, I kid you not, this is just how I play my game. My calendar always has to be full. There always has to be things that my Sims can do. This is basically the house that my Sims are living in right now. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this video. I will be leaving the links to all of the mods that were used in this video, not the CC because child, that is too much. I have too much stuff in here to even be tagging off. But if you see something in the pic in the video that you did like to see, just let me know and I'll probably drop a link for you to get that item as well. Um, but the comment section will have a list of all the traditions or you can just follow from the video, but I will be leaving links in the description of the video as to the mods that were used 
in this video to get all of the custom traditions and so on and so forth. I want to thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out my channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. How do you plan to use your calendar and what traditions do you have that you are excited to add to your calendar? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.